All right, hey, Captain Jim Hanley here, ready for another adventure on Lake Erie tomorrow. I'm just getting the boat ready to go out for some more trophy smallmouth fishing. But I thought I'd take you back to about a week ago when I had my first trip of 2023 here on Lake Erie with a special trophy season. I had the boys from Utica, New York. We had Paul, Jeff, Brian, and Will. And man, we put a hurting on those smallmouth. We caught them like crazy. I'm going to show you the tips and techniques we use to be really, really successful on catching these early season smallmouth. Wow. Yeah, first, first trip. First trip. First trip. First fish of 2023 by the rookie. I'm going to give this to you, Paul. Or right, there you go, Will. self service Yep. All right, the one, Will's, Will's working on his second one, a little slow this morning, no wind, we got everything in our favor out here on our first day, we have a full moon, northeast wind, what more could we ask for on a fishing charter? <laughs> and the Motley crew is here today, there's Jeff, and Brian, and Paul, and Will, there he is, in <laughs> the back of Paul's head. You can't miss it. If it's red, it's Paul. <laughs> Beacon. At least it's there. All yeah. right. Where, where are they? Where's that net at? What do we got, a monster or what? A He's on, yeah, bad. Paul's hooked up. Yeah. Here, I'm going to let you get it. That's a heavy net, but. That heavy rubber mesh is super heavy to lift, but it does a takes the damage away from, from the fish, tearing the slam like up. I the same net as soon as we got back from our first trip. Yep. Ooh. Here we go. Get him out of there, Will. Nice. All right. Go ahead. You can let him go. Go ahead. And off he goes. Yeah, I'm just going to cut it. I'm going to hurt him. Here we go. Hooks can be replaced. The fish. All right. Nice. Three way rig smallmouth. Finally, the big kahuna. There it is. This must be that slob Will I was talking about. He, it does not want me to bring him off the bottom. I'll tell you that. You know, be, being it's the first time of the year, make sure you check that drag because I don't know how tight or loose they are from. from uh, the year before, I just cleaned them and I might have tightened them too much, so I just always like to make sure. He does not want to when, come up. when Jeff first started fishing this morning, he had a bite, and I said, You had a bite? And he goes, Did you see that? And I said, Yes, I fish with your hands and my eyes. Yeah. We need we need a net here. Slob. Yep. That's a nice one. Here you go. Right, you're gonna, I'm going to let you. Want me to get it? Yes, sir. You get him. Beautiful. Nice. We haven't keep track Well, the skunk is now officially out of the boat. Everybody's. Hey, hey. Look at the, the early cold water color to them. I like that. Yeah. Yeah, they don't have their big stripes because the water is so cold. Whoops. I'm a little zoomed in a little bit too much. Nice. Still got the white. And, and if you, you folks are on Instagram, look, look at that pose right there with the head down, staring at his fish. <laughs> Beautiful. The way we had to catch him today was a little unusual, although on Lake Erie it doesn't get calm very often, but in this case it really was. It was a full moon, which we thought was going to be bad for us. It was also a northeast wind, but then the wind really got slow. So four guys having to fish together can sometimes be a hassle. These guys have been with me so many times they know my routine. So what we had to do in order to get speed onto our baits. It's really important with smallmouth. Smallmouth are triggered by speed. If you can't imagine what it's like, imagine your cat. You throw a ball in the middle of the room, cat won't pay any attention to him. Kick that ball and he's going to go after it. That's the same thing with smallmouth. So what you want to do is get your speed up a little bit, but not too much. I have it really dialed in. I have my one and a half ounce drop shot sinkers that I make myself. And I get my boat going between seven and eight tenths of a mile an hour and dragging the bottom at about 35 to 40 feet of water. Keeps the bait on the bottom, keeps it ticking, keeps it moving, and the bass really, really slam them, as you can see in the video.
So that's really important. The three-way rig is really important. It's a rig that you can't use while you're sitting still because the leader's too long. And if the bass grab the leader when you're when it's just free like that, they'll either swallow the hook or you won't feel the bite until uh, it's too late. So it's really important. The three-way has the dropper sinker going down and one leader going out to your hook, which is maybe anywhere from three to five feet, depending on the day. And the hooks we are using were number sixes and number eights. And I Is it a big one? It's pretty decent. The big good one? Yeah, or a good big good, one? It's a solid one. It looked bigger way out there. Oh, okay. You know what? Anywhere else in America, if you caught one like that, you'd be screaming so loud that everybody on the lake would be over here within five minutes. And in Lake Erie, that's just a, a, an average, normal spring fish. Look, I barely had him hooked. We're using these monster hooks. We're using size, I think, six or eights right now. That's a good fish. That's beautiful. <laughs> so while Jeff's retying right here, we're going to explain something. We'll explain something, Lucy. Right there on his line, we have a bead and a three-way swivel, and those are the really good three-ways. And those beads are on there, so when people get excited, they don't crank that three-way right up into the tip top of the rod. So that's a little trick that I'm sharing with you today and while well, Jeffrey ties his, his hook. Um, little yeah. tiny hooks, little, little, little ones. Those are uh, sixes or eights, I believe, and we're using small minnows and it's working. Ooh. Come on, come on. Ooh, Jeff, what you got there, buddy? Sheepshead. <laughs> Sheepshead. Bully! Double header. Mine's little though. You'll have every boat on the lake over here. As <laughs> soon as uh, Jeff quits playing around here, uh, Paul will be. Oh, yeah, that's a big one. One more. Feed him in. There's a five. Beauty. Nice. Beauty. Don't, don't look at the camera. <laughs> I got a bunch right there. That's a beauty. All right, one of the aspects of the early smallmouth season here in New York is you are allowed to keep one fish over 20 inches from December 1st to the third Saturday in June. I don't ever keep them, neither do my customers. The reproductions of uh, smallmouth are really a great amount. You don't have to kill the fish to do that. But we're allowed to fish with live bait, and we're allowed to catch as many as we want. The rest of New York State, you can't do that. It's only catch and release, artificial only. Lake Erie is the exception. Oh, you're du you doubled up, oh, Jeff. Double header. Which way do I go? Sorry for the video, but we are saying this is a slow day, right? Oh, triple. Come on, Willie. Come on, Willie. Let's, Let's do a quadruple. I'd like to. This guy's going to bunker. Spring Lake Erie. Here we go. Oh, quadruple. We got our, we got a quad so we get the quad pick. Quad pick and quad video. Hey, beautiful. I'm going to get a picture too. So something we're experimenting with today with the boys from Utica is Sunline's new V-Hard stuff is unbelievable. It's super, super thin. Here, I'm trying to well, put it upside down or right side up so you can actually read it. Phenomenal stuff, folks. We're using uh, size um, sixes and eights with small uh, golden shiners. The emeralds are way up in the river. We haven't been able to find them yet, but uh, it's working out really good. I think we're at like 25 right now, and it's Nine o'clock? No, probably not even that. Oh, eight twenty-two, and we started at six. Not a bad day. Not a bad right. day. That was a good day. All right. Go back to the Oh, a double. The brothers. The brothers. <laughs> Trento. 
just one of those hard fighting pound and a half. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hand you the nut there, Jeff. No problem. Carlson and all of his podcasts. Oh, missed it. Uh, Come in here, man. What do we got? Big one over here. We got a triple. Oh, oh what are you doing? Come on. Slash it. Talking about Slash it. <laughs> all right, we got a net here. Got fighters from five foot. All right. Probably this big. Well, that's what they do when they're this big. That's the All right, that's two in the boat. Cheers, cheers, our fish. Sorry, man. We were at 42. 45. How many? Oh, oh, we got the, another quad. A, a quad. Four at one time. We need another quad picture. No second. All right. I can try to get him up quick. Yeah. Maybe I get a big one. All right. Look at him. A quad will have Look at him. Better. He's just shaking down there. He is pissed. Up here. So as we're doing this, my wife just texted me because I sent her a picture of your last quad. And she says, oh, my God, I guess they were where you said they'd be yesterday. <laughs> Come on, boys. Crank those guys in here. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Mine's, mine's a good one. All right. We should have the GoPro on here. There's a five. Oh, yeah. He's a good one. Yep. Get that guy, and I'll get balls, and we'll get the pictures and let those guys, let those other ones. <laughs> Another four, some okay, another, another quintet. Four is it quintet? Is four? The four way. Put them in the middle. Okay. Come on, Jeff. I got a, I got a net. Brian's for, fish first to earn it. Oh, I got a bite. Jeff, where is? Oh, I lost him. I lost him. <laughs> I lost it. <laughs> here, go right ahead. Oh, here comes all the boats. <laughs> Thank you. Yep. It'd be the first time I'd ever been hit by a sinker. There's, there's a fiver. I think there's a fiver there. The wall's got right there. We're going to check them here in a minute. We'll weigh him, Paul. Oh, oh. That's a Oh, boy. Alright, I'm gonna give you the nut. That's what bear in mind. Zebra bass. Nice. Alright. Let me explain what we're doing out here today. So we have very little wind, so what I've had to do is increase the weight of our sinker. So we've got an ounce and a half drop shot sinker on it. Up here is a three-way swivel with a small bead. That's a little out of focus, but we're we're gonna do it and uh, about a five foot leader and a really small, really small six or eight. 21, 21 and a half. All right. So the end of the day, let's hold that up and take a look at it and then we're gonna weigh it. Our last fish of the day. It's always the way it is. I wish I would've got some video of him reeling that in. That's a pig, wow. All right, I hope you enjoyed that adventure. It was really a lot of fun. Those guys are really great. Man, you see the fish they caught? Unbelievable. Hey, folks, uh, if you enjoy this content, please like and subscribe. I really appreciate it. While you're out and enjoying this beautiful creation that God has created for you, take a moment to look up and give thanks. I'm Jim Hanley. See you in the next